Hello, my Spooners. Welcome back to Being Mrs. S. Yay. Okay. So today's like the best day. Hello. We're celebrating W's, 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 W's. And first, let's, we always have to start by saying, oh, 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 Zampic, you know. Oh, 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 Zampic, you know. <laughs> okay, listen, when you've got your life back, when I tell you, when you're enjoying the, the quality of life you're supposed to enjoy, when you know you're on the path to hello, great life, great body, great everything, you're gonna be like this. You're gonna be dancing. You're gonna be singing. You're gonna be like, let's 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 talk. Let's talk. Let's talk. Let's have fun. Let's, you know, let's boogie down productions. <laughs> so today is a great day. I'm gonna do two things. I am going to catch you up on my weight loss progress and where I stand at the moment. Well, as of my last shot. And then I'm gonna talk to you about my tips, the things that I'm doing that have brought me this success and i uh, putting this smile on my face. I know mean, these braces are annoying. <laughs> That's why I'm wearing this tiara because hello, queen. So, Lou, we're not gonna waste any time. We're gonna go right into the eight tips. And I have my handy dandy um, notes. So we'll get into it, we'll get into it, we'll get into it. So these are my eight tips um, for weight loss success. These are the things that are working for me on Ozempic. Okay, so let me get my handy dandy notes out here. So the first, uh, and I'm going to go from eight to one, which doesn't matter. You can take it in any any order, but from eight to one. So eight, understand that Ozempic is an aid not a magic drug um, I know it feels magical but you have to put in the work now what I am going to say is it is magical <laughs> I've said it so many times before but it is best that you you look at it as if it's an aid and not magic and when I say look at it as an aid and not magic because I think people think that when you give yourself the shot, you're just gonna start losing weight. You don't have to do anything else. It is to assist you in accomplishing your goal. The whole point is to get your body understanding that you don't have to eat so much to survive. So that's why those uh, GLP-1 um, agonists are helping you, I would say, retrain your brain, make your brain understand that you're here, you're good. You don't need to keep going all the way up there. Also letting your stomach understand, okay, chill out. Let's digest what we've eaten. So that's what Ozempic does. Um, it's so funny because last night I was chatting to my BDD and I was talking about when I was on HCG, then I started thinking, and I was like, you know what, I think it was just placebo. It may have just been water with some pink food, uh, 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 food coloring um, that I was injecting into my body thinking I was doing something because the difference between the HCG and the the um, Ozempic, the Samaritan, you actually are feeling full, right? You, there was nothing, HCG wasn't doing anything, there wasn't any real, oh, this is what's working differently in my body. It, it was hardcore, you need to eat 500 calories a day, you need to abstain from butter, any kind of oils, if you have to, have to, have to use oils, maybe coconut oil, and I don't like coconut oil, so I never even use oils to cook. You can't have any bread, you can't have 
any processed food. The most you could do with processed foods was for your snacks, you could have breadsticks. And those were bland to me, so instead of having breadsticks, I had cucumber. So basically, I didn't have anything processed in my diet. I was strictly 500 calories. I measured all my foods, all of that. And I know I've mentioned it over and over again in all my different videos, when you have a restrictive diet, once you're done with that diet, you're gonna crave all those things that you wanted before. And when you start going back to those things, you start abusing them. So that's why I look at Ozempic and I'm like, you're magic. Because I'm learning, I'm reconditioning my mind to being able to back away from the plate, you know? So I'm gonna eat my bread, I'm gonna eat my butter, I'm gonna eat my, cook with my oils, I'm, I'm gonna do all that. But basically, I couldn't have salt, I couldn't have sugar, I'll cook with my salt, I'll, I'll drink my tea with my sugar. But limits, right? You're not gonna, I'm not gonna do this much. And I think, because I have seen a lot of, a lot of um, uh, news, you know, when they want to talk about Ozempic and how, what happens when everybody's done with the Ozempic? Um, do they gain the weight back? And I think, yes, if you haven't learned those triggers, if you haven't learned that, you know, food is for sustenance and not so much for, uh, um, you know, just wanton doing whatever you want with it you know what I mean just <laughs> it, it's to keep you alive and and um, you don't want to abuse it so that's my number eight understand that Ozempic is an aid and <laughs> it is a magic drug but not a magic pill like it's not you're not gonna poof now you're you've gone from 600 pounds to, to 200 pounds without doing anything right and that leads me to my number seven number seven keep a food and exercise journal uh, a food mood and exercise journal uh, this is the way that I measure fluctuations um, so if I if I ate a certain uh, amount today and then I ate exactly the same thing the next day and then when I, when I weighed myself after this day, I was I had dropped a pound, and then when I weighed myself the next day, I gained the pound back. Okay, without my journal, I don't know what happened in between, right? So maybe I ate the same thing, but I didn't exercise, or maybe I ate the same thing and I did more vigorous exercise than I needed to, or I, or I got upset, somebody upset me, and I was really angry or whatever, cortisol levels, they will do that to you, right? So I keep a journal to, to manage or to monitor the things that I, I'm doing, the things that I eat, my exercise, and things like that in that way, because I weigh myself every day. That way I can understand the fluctuations in the weight or what I'm doing differently. That's number seven. Number six, I take my shot the same time every week, 6 a.m. every Wednesday. I don't deviate from the instructions um, that were prescribed. I take it every week and I do it at the same time. And I do it in the morning because that's going to, um, I guess, manage uh, my my uh, uh, time to eat, I'd say. Because uh, if I start in the morning, then through the day, it's gonna, and it, it wanes. And I, I understand, or th this is my thought process as to why the, the titration, or you're, you're moving up in dose. I think it's not only just to get your uh, feel for how you, you, you react to the drug, like when you start from the 0.25, what are the side effects and then going, going, going. I think it's also because the dosage is increasing because as you use it every week, 
that's how your body is designed, right? Your body is like, okay, I understand what's going on now. And then it, it, the, the efficacy of the chemical kind of wanes a little bit. So then you increase the dose. That's another reason I think the, the dose gets increased. But anyway, um, I take my shot the same time of the day uh, every week. Uh, position on the body, I stick to the stomach. I don't go to the arms, I don't go to the thighs. I stick to the stomach. It's easier for me to give myself the shot that way and um, that's what I do. Uh, number five. Yes, very important. I meal prep. Um, I meal prep because I think that, as I said, I've watched some of the videos and things like that. I think a common misconception, and I don't, I'm not gonna, well, maybe I shouldn't call it a misconception because everybody's body um, behaves differently. But I think people think you're not gonna get hungry um, on Ozempic. Right? So, you get hungry, and as I said, it wanes, the, the, the degree of the chemical, it's going to, after a while, it's going to wane. Like right now, even though I, even as I give myself the shots, it's not like the very first time I took the dose, where I felt like there was something foreign in my body, and my behavior was different. Now, it's like, normal, like this, I don't feel anything like there's a foreign you know I don't feel like I'm injecting myself with anything it's like my body is normal and I'm at the highest dose for Zempic I'm at the two med dose and I'm going to show you the box in a bit so it's like it's like normal so I'm getting hungry uh, the other, just yesterday I was like honey let's go get some barbecue so I'm getting hungry uh, we got barbecue but it's perfect because that 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 delay in the gastric emptying like when we when i get this my plate i get like double burnt ends like the sausage i get the the double collard greens and i eat that whole thing before yesterday i took a couple of bites and i have half the the container left over I had sausage left, I had the burnt, end, <laughs> burnt ends left, I had my collard greens left. Ridiculous. Um, so, I appreciate that so much, you know, and then, you know, and then you have the, the side, the, the ribs and the, the uh, brisket. I'm already, I've already dug into those as well. I didn't even get to those. <sighs> it's, you don't understand. I'm just so excited. It's the best thing in the world. But, um, so that's one of the things um, uh, uh, you have to do. You have to meal prep. If you don't meal prep, when you get hungry, you're gonna get ridiculous. Uh, you're going to maybe eat those things that that your body that will cause your body to retain water, um, increase cravings of, of other things, and, uh, and then you don't then there's no weight loss and then you wonder wait what happened right so if you meal prep um i'm gonna have proteins the whole week you meal prep and all you need to do is take it throw it on the stove or in your your uh your steamer or whatever and then just get that going and then you're ready and you're, you're good to go so then you're not looking for what you can eat because you've already meal prepped and those things are there ready for you to, to digest. So that's really key. Four, stay hydrated. Honey, honey, water, all the time. All of the time. I drink tea, I drink water, those are my go-tos. Now, like yesterday, because I have cheat days, and I don't even know why I call it cheat days, because it's not like I'm cutting out anything, I'm just eating normal, but, I, but okay, I'm going to replace it with our wind down day, so yesterday was our wind down day, so I had a glass of wine, with my BDD, yes, <laughs> hello, um, so yeah, stay hydrated, hydration is the key, it's the key, it's the key, it's the key. Three, exercise, again, as I said, it is not a magic drug. 
you're not just going to miraculously lose the weight. Your your um, the 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 lack of the the cutting down and the eating obviously is going to help you lose weight. But to keep your body firm, to keep your metabolism up, you have to exercise. Now, obviously, if you're eating less, you don't want to go crazy in the gym. Well, I don't. Bring it back to me because I'm talking about me. I'm eating less, so I'm not going to go crazy in the gym. That's not going to happen. So I will do light cardio. I will go and I'll be on my treadmill and I'll take it to like 30 minutes, 40 minutes, 45 minutes, maybe even an hour. But I'm pacing myself. It's not too much. I'm not going too hard. I will do weights. I will do 10 pound weights, five pound weights. I will do longer reps. That way, Ozempic face is not an, an issue. <laughs> you know that I don't look gaunt and um, the body is firming up, not a, too much loose skin. Uh, so that's what I'm going to do and that's what I do. And I give myself breaks. <sighs> It's so amazing, this body that God created, the things that it is designed to do, the way it's designed to protect you. You know, the way it thinks, oh my God, she's not eating as much as she was eating before. Is she starving? Let me hold all that food. Let me retain the food. Let me keep her going, right? That's when you reach that plateau and you're like, what in the world is going on? So the body does things like that and you have to always keep it on its toes. You have to, you have to trick it every time. So it's not sure what's going on and it's like, okay, where are you going with this? What are you doing? I talk to my body a lot. I talk to my brain a lot. Um, number two, I caught off eating at 5 p.m. at the latest six. Um, in my other, one of my other videos, I told you that I discovered that my digestive system is not doing what it's supposed to do. It's a lot slower than um, I think the normal person's body is, which is why people are regular, you know, they eat and then they're gone. They go to the loo to release. I don't have that. Is it a problem? Because I don't even like using the loo, but I, I am not regular. And I think part of it is because I have the slowest digestive system ever, okay? Um, so I had to figure out things to do. I, I uh, take shots of, shot of apple cider vinegar every morning. Sometimes I dilute it with water because that, that is a mess. Uh, but I uh, take a shot of apple cider vinegar. I started fermenting. And I ferment Brussels sprouts, I ferment uh, cucumbers, I ferment onions, although my onions didn't work out well, I had to touch that one, but these are the things that I, I'm doing to help my digestive system, to, to create chime, all right? Because I don't have chime. I think it's kind, but I like saying chime. Um, so that's what I do to uh, help my digestive system move along and I think it's working so the the biggest thing I do is to cut off eating at 5 p.m. as I said later 6 because of how slow my digestive system works I give myself time um, for that process to do what it's supposed to do and you know I'm, I'm seeing some very slight differences but in the positive so I'm very happy about that yeah, so that's number two. Number one, sleep. I have difficulty going to sleep. I have to fight with sleep. As I said, I, I just discovered, and I think it was because of the Suzembeck. Um, because I was like, how do you come up to know that those receptors work in that way? Then I should be able to talk to my brain and say, listen, it's time to sleep, shut down, sleep now, and that will work. Um, I talk to my body, I talk to my brain, I'm like, listen, we're not trying to kill ourselves. We're just trying to get healthier. So I know I'm not eating as much as I used to eat before. It's not a problem. There isn't a, a shortage of food. 
I'm the one doing it, so work with me. Um, so yeah, I sleep. I try to get to bed around 9.30, and I try to um, stay asleep. It, it doesn't work out a lot of times, but I try to get to bed early enough so that I can, my body can work, can do the work it needs to do, can rest, my brain can recharge, all of that. So, those are my eight tips. Those are my eight, those are the eight things that I do. And just to, to just throw in some extra, as I told you before, I have conversations with my body. I talk to my brain a lot. You understand that our bodies are designed to protect us. So, uh, that's why some of us retain water the way that we do or, we, or hold on to the food. The food doesn't go anyway because the brain is like, I don't know where food is coming from, you know, when you do, when you have changes, you never used to work out before, all of a sudden now you're working out, your body's like, wait, what's going on? You know, things like that. Um, and uh, so, yeah, those are my eight tips. One thing I have to mention, and I think, because I know that a lot of, a lot of people have started Ozempic, they either they said the um, side effects were too much or they weren't seeing the weight loss that they were expecting to see from Ozempic. So a lot of people have moved over to Monjaro, which from a lot of stuff I've heard, it is, it's working wonders. And I was talking to my friend the other day and she was like, so when are you going to move to Manjaro? And I'm like, why do I need to move to Manjaro? Ozempic is doing exactly what it's supposed to do for me. It lowered my A1C. I went from 6.4 to 5.6 where I'm right at the end of normal. But, you know, I still need a little bit of work. But it's I'm out of that pre-diabetic kind of zone where any little thing i could have been diabetic and then i'd have to start depending on insulin for the rest of my life and that is no bueno <laughs> so um there's no need for me to skip over to manjaro the only thing i was talking about was maybe going over to wagovi because as i said wagovi and ozempic they're the same the somaglutide they just have that higher dose and i was thinking you know i might move over there but i don't need to because where i am right now everything is working perfectly the way it's supposed to work which leads me to why we are here our celebration jubilation come together come together okay so i have been taking this is the this is what the box looks like for the two meg um dose and oh yes before i forget i said i was going to talk about this because this i was wondering if i should just do another video but it's not it's not a lot it's just a quick best places to buy this drug now remember there's this whole if there's a shortage situation i don't know if that's still a thing uh, um, but if it is my suggestion is to call around call around uh as of this moment my insurance company is, is still refusing to cover the drug so you know you don't have to worry about where where you can get it where your insurance can cover it if your insurance isn't covered so then you have to call around to see where they have the drugs um, my insurance company had a, an at-home delivery they were the most expensive so my 0.25 megs that's where i got um those those uh, prescriptions from they were the most expensive they did not accept um the good rx coupons they didn't even offer any coupons so that was the the, the 0.25 meds and then i had to buy in bulk i had to buy at least three um so that that was that was the highest ever i paid well no yes that was the highest ever i paid after walgreens so walgreens is a no for me and then they never had it cvs is a definite no for me because they're been nasty there and, that, and that's here in denver their attitudes are horrible I, I was like why are they so different here that's not how it was in atlanta but they 
the pharmacy I've gone here and the CVS I've gone terrible customer service but aside from that it's very expensive there uh, even with the good RX it wasn't such a great discount so X -A, X -A on the CVS day so no CVS no Walgreens for me the at-home delivery most expensive very very stressful process for me and that was Optum Optum RX so more than likely I'm never I'm not gonna purchase this prescriptions from them anymore um, if I need to continue to take it Dun, 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 best place to get it I would say go to your local grocery store pharmacy and for me it's King Super so I called around King Super had the prescription I, I transferred my pres prescription over to them there was no stress about your insurance company needs this that that and I was like they need a prior authorization they refused to honor my prior authorization so I'm paying for it myself and um, I walked up there with my GoodRx coupon, which I thought was a great discount. Before I could even pull it out, they scanned their own discount code. And when I tell you, I saved like $300 altogether, because I also got um, this dose in a, a three, three packs. So they only had one that time. So it wasn't a huge discount on just the one. When I went back to pick up the other two, was it three? Two, yes, the other two I had um, to pick up. But at least three hundred dollars less than the, the price um, that I was to pay for it, and that's the store's uh, discount card. So I was sold. Customer service was fantastic. Um, so King Super is. The pharmacy in King Super is the best place to get it. So I just wanted to throw that in real quick before I move it to my song and dance my W A. Okay. So I think I told you guys in the last um, video how I got into the the two meg dose. So this is the two milligram. I, I call it meg. Two milligram dose. So I started off with 0.25 for four weeks, then I went to 0.5 for four weeks, um, but I had excess uh, of the 0.25 prescription. So instead of getting a prescription for the one meg dose, I gave myself two shots of the 0.5 dose. And I only did that for three weeks because then I, I ran out. So I didn't have an extra week on the one meg dose. Then I got my prescription for the two meg dose, which is this pen. You can see the color is different. Now, I don't know if other countries have different, uh, if the boxes look different. Uh, this is my prescription information, but you don't need to see it. But I don't know if other uh, countries have different boxes, but this is what the box, um, this is what the box looks like here. That's the color. And this is what the pen looks like. So these are the only two pens I have used, right? So I had several, and you can see it's a much it's a much bigger pen because it contains a lot more dose in that. Um, so these are the only two pens I had. I had this and I had this. I never had the one in between because I had several of these and I give myself, when I started taking the one med dose, I just gave myself two shots on this pen. So those are the, that's the way, that's what it looks like. So I have completed one whole um, pen I've given myself four shots of these and so I am going to get into my Excel sheet so you see I'm wearing the green right because I'm in the green zone right now I am in the green zone I told you I printed off my um, Excel sheet because we are doing things okay so as of the 8th of 
of February. Let me get my magic wand ready. I am 30, I have lost 32 pounds. Oh my God, it just, it sounds so good saying it, it's ridiculous. It's just, I'm emotional, I'm emotional. 32 pounds. I am down 32 pounds. So, um, I think the last time I told you, wait, did I? I, I don't know if I had gotten into this. So for the two Meg Do's, my first two Meg Do's was January 18th. At that time, I was 23.6 pounds. And as of February 8th, I am, 224.6 pounds and I have lost 32 pounds total now I still have a long way to go a long way to go um, I, I think I said I wanted to be at 130 pounds right but I'm on track I'm on track to make it if I choose to go all the way. I think when I looked at my app, 160, between 130 to 160 is supposed to be my normal weight. Um, so I I was saying that I would probably quit Ozempic when I've, I've gotten down to like 180 pounds, but it all depends on what my BMI tells me. Uh, so you guys, my smooners, my smooners, the support, the progress, we are tracking. So I started November 2nd, so technically at 32 pounds, let's see, what's my calculator? Divided by, I would say three. So I would say I'm losing about 10 pounds a month, which tracks, I'm just doing if they're four weeks in a, in a month and they say that you want to be losing about two pounds a week, so that's what, eight? So if I'm doing 10, I'm doing above, which is not bad, but I'm tracking. So 32 pounds from November 2nd to February 8th, 2023. November 2nd, 2022, 2000, uh, and then February 8th, 2023 I am down 32 pounds it's tracking I'm right on I'm, I'm, I'm on schedule and um, I'm excited I'm happy so this is where I am <laughs> I am so pleased I am so thankful I am thinking of writing a letter to Congress about the insurance company and their refusal to uh, cover me because it's not like I was trying to lose 20 pounds and my A1C was great and then I wanted this prescription. I was, according to my doctors, pre-diabetic right there at the door. Um, as, uh, and uh, aside from the pre-diabetic uh, um, diagnosis, I was I am. I'm still obese. Let me look at my app. I'm from obese class two to obese class one, and my BMI is right at 34. My BMI was at 38.6 or something stupid, something ridiculous. So I'm down. My my BMI is now at 34. Keeping it as of the day that I took my last shot. I'm gonna stand up. show you my leggings my shirt still can't see a lot of a difference because hello I'm still obese <laughs> I'm still an obese class one but we are getting there my clothes fit a little you know fit better I'm able to fit back into things I had before 
Oh, you guys, you guys. My Smooners, I'm so happy, I'm so happy. So yeah, tell me what your tips are. What are the things that are working out for you? Um, what's your goal weight? Where did you, it, or do you even do that? Do you, do you lose weight based on your goal? Because a lot of people say that's not the way to go. That's always worked for me. I like it, so I will stick to that because <laughs> that, that's what works for me. What works for you? What is working for you? Are you one of those who will be jumping ship from Ozempic to Manjaro? Hey, do what works for you. Um, yeah, so get, let me know, you know, throw your questions at me. Let me know what, what's, and then you share with me what is working out for you. I love the comments, honey. I love the comments. Thank you for being a part of the Smoonas community. Don't forget, listen, if you, if you stuck through my whole excitement, <laughs> if you did, do a girl a solid, subscribe, subscribe. I am sharing obviously my weight loss journey on Ozempic, but I'm doing other things as well that are just absolute fun uh, to watch. So definitely, uh, please subscribe, like, share, comment, definitely share. Sharing is caring. And, um, and I'll circle back. Thank you, my smooners. I love you. Ha, ha, ha.